Everything is normal, except... What do you want? Is that something you'd say? Normal Monday. So you shot this in fall 2020 on location in Detroit. Did a 1950s crime caper feel like a welcome escape from reality at the time? On paper, and then you get there and then everyone's in protective gear and, you know, COVID is ever present. I'm glad that, you know, you see the film and you don't feel any of that. You don't feel the tension of that. You don't feel the drama of that. We were like one of the first films back. Thank you. You have a good time. I think we all felt lucky that we were working. Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean, it almost seemed like we were not gonna, actors were not gonna work for a long time. So I don't think personally it really affect, except that a couple of times I was told to wear a mask in between takes. They had someone walking around making sure people were, um, were putting the masks on after takes and, uh, I got my, my hand slapped a couple times, you know, put on your mask. Which but, mask yeah. was worse though, the mouth mask or the eye mask? That that leather, for me, that leather thing was crazy. Yeah. I don't think that's the end of that. There was this really wild feeling that everyone was just so happy to be there. You know, where they're like, thank God we have a job, you know, and just period, you know, it's just, and, and then in addition to that, what a lucky job to have, you know? And other people, like other yeah. people face to face besides like your family. <laughs> we had a couple of, of scares like early on where there were some positive test results that came back that turned out to be false positives, but nobody wants to be the guy that pops the bubble, so to speak, or that ruins it for everybody. So yeah, you're you're very much aware that you should probably dial it back. But then but then again, we were all in the same place. So we were all essentially all tested and and, and we all knew that we were relatively safe so it was kind of a combination it was a very much that we were we were all in the same little bunker and then also we had to kind of while we were doing it be very careful and by the way in detroit i'll state everybody else if you haven't been there recently you gotta go because the whole place is being totally rejuvenated and there's a lot of older buildings and structures and churches that have been there forever now they're renovating them and so this film fit right into that context because a lot has not changed Detroit looked period perfect. What was the experience like for you, Brendan? Did you expect Detroit to be such a jump back in time? I knew that it would be a picture perfect backdrop for Steven Soderbergh to stage this gangster crime caper with some pretty enormous and impactful themes about everything from fathers and sons to the haves and the have nots to greed and crime.